Pechacucha Project, Peter Delhanty, Education 5105, Designing Web-Based Learning. I was excited to start this course as it's the beginning of the end for me. This is course 9 of 10 for my technology diploma from CBU, so I was excited to get going. I was a little intimidated at first. Um, I had taken other design classes and I didn't do so hot, so I wasn't really sure where this was going to go. Um, I was a little confused and intimidated before we uh, actually started the course off. And um, I had some personal uh, things going on at the time. Things were a little hectic and I kind of fell flat on my face uh, right on the be beginning of the course. I didn't really know uh how to recover and i kind of missed out on mostly um unit one also uh, i'm not a huge uh class discussion guy um i kind of do a lot of things outside of school and uh so i by the time i get around to answering things it's usually sunday night and everyone has said everything anyway and i i really often feel like i don't have much to contribute also, we teach with uh, a lot of smart people, and uh, a lot of smart people are in this class, so it's kind of intimidating. So I sit back and I read and what the people have to say, and it's intimidating for me, and so I don't really say a whole heck of a lot. So like I said, right off the bat, I, I wasn't really sharp in Unit 1. I did take the TPI index thing, though, and found out that uh, I was uh, a nurturing uh teacher, I guess, and, which is good because I try to encourage my kids to do as much as possible and not have a fear of failure. So I guess that was something that I was able to take away from Unit 1. In Unit 2, we talked about motivation. I teach a program in high school called Options and Opportunities, or O2. Uh, kids have to apply to get in there, so usually the type of student I see already wants to be in the program, so they're a little bit motivated to get going and get on with their high school career. The program is based in trades. Um, through the course of high school, the kids have to do 300 hours of work placement learning. Uh, they get to try out different careers and learn what it takes to make it in those careers as far as education is concerned, the type of person that they need. The kids in this program are a little bit more ambitious. They put themselves out there. Uh, they work with industry experts to learn about what it takes to go on to the next level. So they're excited to graduate high school and get to university or wherever they're going. Unit two is kind of where uh, things took a, a turn for me. I started to become a little bit more engaged in the course and um, started to participate in the online discussions reluctantly of course because of my shyness but it was kind of a turning point i also teach cooperative education or co-op 12 and this is where kids also do work placements now it's not the same as the other course so uh but technology is definitely an asset for this course Kids have a little bit more freedom, uh, so they're allowed to go out and work. And Google Forms has made it possible for kids to log their hours, write reflections, uh, kind of keep track of the class online and all from their on their cell phones. Um, so and every kid has a phone, so it's it's technology is an asset here. Co-op has given the kids a little bit of freedom. Um, they don't necessarily have to come to school or come to the class to complete all the parts of the class. So it, it freedom is important to a high school kid. So this class and technology allows them to do things outside of the regular classroom. For unit three, the design activity, I chose job skills demonstration. I had the privilege to go to Edmonton to see the national skills competition. One of the categories is job skills demonstration. So I kind of stole it from them and adapted it to my courses at high school. 
They have to choose a skill and demonstrate that skill. Uh, for example, they, it could be cooking or changing the oil on a car. They have to be able to demonstrate the skill, create them up with a safety plan, uh, film it and put it on YouTube. That's where the technology component comes from. This project covers all the outcomes for Career Development 10 and Community-Based Learning 10, which are two of the courses that I uh, teach as well. It allows the students to show off uh, in an area where they might not get to under a normal school setting. So this is a great project for my kids and they really enjoy it. Unit three was kind of the aha moment for me during this course. I posted my job skills demonstration project and got some positive feedback and a pretty good mark on it. And I know it's a little bit late into the class, but it really felt good going forward from here. The Pecha Kucha project was a bit stressful to me. I'm used to normal PowerPoints, but not one with so much planning and the, and the voiceover and things like that so I just I was a little stressed uh, going forward but uh, so far so good I think the way that I can incorporate this activity into my normal classes is part of the job skills demonstration project kids get intimidated by the filming part this allows the Pecha Kucha will allow them to take pictures and use voiceover and be able to demonstrate the skill that way This is my first ever crack at Pecha Kucha. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch and listen. Uh, I think it's been a valuable activity. I've enjoyed it. And now I'm going to try to post it as a movie. Thank you very much.